What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new movie with Liam Neeson as a man who rescues the wrong woman in Mistaken. <laughs> I was watching Taken last night and uh, well yeah, there you go. So anyways, today we're going to be talking about reducers and how to actually do multiple reducers or work with multiple reducers. Now, in the last video we did, we did talk about what a reducer was, basically this function right here, but, but let's actually go into Redux and actually look up with how they define reducers so that way you can get a better picture. Reducers specify how the application state changes in response to actions sent to the store. Remember that actions only describe what happened, but they don't describe how the application state changes. Yeah. So reducers are the its only thing is is going how to change the state. That's it. How it's how it's supposed to, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. It, it says right here clearly blatantly right here. So, yeah, that's a reducer. And this function like I said, this function is called the reducer. We're actually going to separate this reducer to another, to a, a different, I'm going to say counter reducer. And we're going to set that equal to this function right here. Like that. And instead of calling it right here, we're going to just call in counter re reducer. If you control save this, you should still see the same map. Now, why are we doing this? The reason why is because, like I said in the last video, we can have multiple reducers. So this one reducer is its only thing is going to be managing the uh, state for the counter, as in increment, decrement, set, reset. But let's say let's say we have a to do application, right? So we have a a to do list, right? So we need a reducer that will manage how to add, edit, you know, um, delete one a to do from that right and then we have another reducer that's that its job is to filter let's say filters for filters we want to filter out where the to do's at from state i mean from state from the text that we put in from the date range and all that stuff right we want there's another filter or reducer for filters it's that reducers um what that reducers job is to only manage the filters state now you're trying to see why we, we need we will need reducers in uh, some applications so yeah just know that we could actually separate our reducers to a separate function because that's all it is a function and we're just calling it down here or referencing it down here now let's actually start transitioning to our budget snob application okay and in here I'm going to like give you how it's going to look like like how the state is supposed to look like so for right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna create a const I'm gonna call it demo or state demo and we're gonna set that equal to our state what our state we want it to look like okay so we're gonna have an expense An expenses array that is filled with a lot of objects because we have multiple expenses right so let's say that for right now we're gonna only have one object and this one object we are gonna have an ID and this ID is gonna be randomized with like letters and numbers whatever next one is going to be description we do need a description for our thing and let's just say uh rental truck or something like that i have no idea other one a note about it so maybe we want to like note why did we rent this truck because it it was a cyber truck uh i think it's pretty cool cyber truck is pretty cool my opinion and we want to know the amount obviously of how much it was uh just because i'm famous and whatnot and I'm I'm like buds with Elon Musk. It's gonna cost me one dollar. Let's put it that way. And then we're gonna want a created at property. So that way we could we could actually filter by range. Okay. And for now I'm gonna just set that to zero. 
now now that we're done with our expenses now we we're gonna go down to our filters state filters state and it's just going to be an object so for instance we might want to um, filter by, by a text of a random string that we want a uh, we want all the expenses that we've done that has the keyword rental I could actually keyword let's put key word rental or rent right and we could actually in expensive we could actually make it more complicated having having like tags uh what are the tags but let's not do that keyword is rent we could have sort by right and this could be a word uh this could be the amount we could sort by the amount or we could actually sort by the date um it could be either or but for now i'm just gonna put I'm gonna put amount since we don't even have a date. Amount. And then we could also sort by uh, the start date and end date, right? So start date. I'm gonna just say undefined for right now because we don't have one. And then the end date. Undefined as well since we don't have one. And this is our this is going to be our what we're looking for as for our states, okay? For our states for our data that we want we want an array of expenses that each have an object of like the id description note amount created at created and then we want filters for like the things that we want to filter so if we don't want a keyword or a sort by or a start date or an end date anything like that okay so this is our state and this is how we're how our data is going to look like going forward just if you want to add more things to it, you can. Uh, I would I would want you to add more things. Like I said, you could have in here like hashtags or like tags and then filters by tags. So like just like for an example, description, we have rental. We don't really have the keyword rent inside the description. So you could have a uh, down here as like tags, right? And then rental being one of them. I don't know. It's going to be an array with rental being one of them. Or rent being one of them so yeah you could add more things I I would want you to but it's up to you all right now that we know about this kind of stuff uh, we're gonna actually start migrating over to our budget snob application and start doing things there so instead of creating a counter reducer I'm just going to rename this to budget or uh, let's call it the expense reducer expense expenses reducer right and we're gonna have a state and our state like our expense reducer it's an array so if we don't have a if we don't pass in an array we're gonna just default it to an empty an array just like so with our action all this is still the same you know action type but instead of case increment I'm just going to delete all this right here and I'm just going to leave the default for now okay and expense reducer we do need to call it down here control save now we should see empty as arrays which is great the thing is the thing is guys is that we want this array to be tied to the expenses okay we want this array to be tied to expensive and let's say we have another one let's create another one right here another reducer Cost reducer and this is going to be called the filter filter reducer and it's going to be an object right if you control save this we're not gonna have we don't we don't have another reducer we could we could put it in here and I'm gonna show you how to do this right now the combined reducer stuff the combining reducers but we want expenses reducers to be um, tied to the expenses and we want the filter reducer to be tied to the filters now, how do we do that? Well, Redux gives us a a good another export that we could use, and that is called Combine Reducers. Okay, and it's very very simple to use. So, Combine Reducers. Let's go. Let's do it. Down here in Create Store, we're not gonna pass in a single reducer. We're gonna pass in multiple reducers, and we're gonna use the Combine Combine Reducer function which is a function correct but inside this function I'm going to split into another line inside this function we could actually oh 
take inside this function we could pass in an object okay let me actually make this way better um put it right here okay so we're passing in an object and in an object we're gonna give it the key value pairs now like i said i want the expenses this i want the expenses to be tied to the expense reducer and i want the filters be tied to the filters reducer now if we control save this watch it reload oh what do we get we get our state back because we're returning our state right and we get the expenses as an array and our filters as an object pretty neat huh it's pretty cool it's pretty cool stuff once you start learning about it and start getting uh familiarized with it it's very very cool um uh, but yeah let's actually do one more tweak to it one little tweak this filter reducer obviously when you open up the application the filter reducer is going to be it's going to have default stuff a default object the reason why is because we're not going to have a date set we're not going to have keywords set we're not going to have a sort by set everything's going to be undefined or maybe the sort by will have a uh, a set set uh, or a automatic set and the keyword probably maybe not but the start date and end date is going to be undefined so what we want to do that we want to set a a um a default value right off the bat okay so we could set the default value right here the thing is it's going to be a very long default right it's going to be very long because we're gonna have a we're gonna i can literally just copy this right here we're gonna have this copy this right there now this is exactly the same thing but this looks ugly you know what i'm talking about yeah it looks like you know so what i'm going to do instead is Control Z, Z. I'm going to create a const up here and call it filter default. And we're going to set that to a an object. I'm just going to grab this object right here. Copy, paste it. Uh, maybe just do this. Paste it. Okay. And keyword, let's start it off with nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sort by it. Let's start it off with amount. Sure. Start date undefined, end date undefined, and we're gonna just set state equal to our filter default. Just in case there is no state being passed in, we, we're gonna default to our fil filter default, which is this object right here. Now, if you control save this, we should oh, we should see our yes, we see our filters object right here with their keyword sort by start date and end date. So the last thing I want to do guys before I end this video is actually organize what we're doing right now. So we do have, now we know how to separate our reducers. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder in here called reducer, reducers. And inside this folder, I'm going to create new, two new files, our expenses reducer.js and our new file filter reducer. Oh, dot JS. I gotta rename this one. Rename to capital R reducer expenses reducer JS. Okay, now in our expenses reducer, let's go back in our budget store. We have right here our expense reducer. Control copy this, paste it. Control copy all of this for our filter, paste that. Control save, control save. And right here, just above, I'm going to get rid of this and just export default right there. Control save that and same for this, get rid of this, the const, and then export default because we need to use it in our, get rid of these because I don't need them anymore, our budget store. So I could actually get rid of all this. I'm going to just keep that state demo right there so that way you'll still see what's going on. So we still need to import some stuff. So we're going to import expense reducer from, oops, it is out a directory from reducers and expense reducer and then import 
filter reducer from out from reducer slash filter reducers control save this and we should still see our yes we do we still have it awesome 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 so guys that was literally it for this video i was just introducing you to reducers and combined reducers having multiple reducers how to work with them so yeah that's it i hope you actually learned something from this and i hope you're actually uh like having fun doing these kind of things and learning things these things when something is clear to you, you you start understanding more and you start liking it more and more so if you were following along in a couple of few videos that i've made i've we've created an actions uh an actions uh folder a store folder and now we just created our reducers folder okay and you should know what all of these comp new folders have in them and what they actually do okay so that is it guys for this video uh like i said i do hope you enjoy it and like it please subscribe if you haven't if you learned something today uh like the video comment down below of what i could have done better or anything like that how do you like my new intros i'm i'm kind of liking it you know i, I could do better I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just winging it for now. But yeah, just let me know guys and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.